Go where it was never in doubt. 111-81. Holy defense, Batman by Milwaukee. Uh, they led by as many as 37 in this game. They had a 31-point lead at the end of three. They were up 90 to 59 through three quarters. That's how good Milwaukee was in this game. Perhaps an overreaction after losing game two. Look, Chris Middleton's out rest of the series. He's one of their top players, but they didn't feel his absence because look who led the game in points. Grayson Allen. Usually it's G period Antetokounmpo leading the way. This time it's G period Allen leading the way. Grayson Allen, 22 points off the bench, six rebounds, he had a steal, he had a block, and uh, Milwaukee, 2-1 series lead as they pound Chicago by 30. All right, back here at CBS Sports NBA insider Bill Ryder. Uh, this game was never in doubt. What stood out to you as the biggest takeaway from this victory for Milwaukee? I think you said it, or at least a big part of it. We overreact to individual games in such a big way, and the Milwaukee Bucks heard that heard the noise that Chicago was a threat, heard the noise that maybe they're not championship contenders with the question mark about Chris Middleton for the entirety of the playoffs and the fact he won't be available in this one. And they came out and they smothered the Chicago Bulls. A very, very good offense. That 81 is the stat of the night. 81 points for a Bulls team that doesn't play great defense. They're better than Alex Caruso, but who have to put points up, who have to make sure that they are outscoring their opponents. That is an incredible, smothering, dominant, championship caliber performance and it's a reminder not just the Bucks are almost certainly going to win this series it's not over but they're the favorites for a reason but Milwaukee is one of the contenders to win the whole thing because they do what you have to do well on both sides of the ball we know about the offense they're also capable of being exceptional defensively and they were on this night largest home playoff loss in franchise history for Chicago DeMar DeRozan was DeMar DeRozan from game one not DeMar DeRozan from game two when he had 41. yeah I mean that's that stat is a humiliation for a Chicago team that has their own chip on their shoulder. This is a Bulls team that for a long stretch of the season, top of the Eastern Conference standings, felt like they were the cream of the crop. A lot of talk in the Chicago media and somewhat nationally, they weren't getting the respect they deserved, fell down to the seed they're at now, the sixth seed in part because they had some injuries, including to Alex Caruso, who's an important player. And so this was supposed to be a statement series. We're going to go toe to toe against the defending champions. We're going to show people what we're about. We're going to show with our with our, our determination, our offensive excellence, our improved defense, with our healthy squad that we can compete. And in a game where there's no Chris Middleton, where the most important player not named Giannis Antetokounmpo isn't on the floor for the Bucks, for the Bucks that came to do what they did, that is a statement about Milwaukee, and it's a statement in the wrong kind of way about the Chicago Bulls. Yeah, you know who really made a statement in this game? Grayson Allen. Consider in the yeah. first two games, he had three points. He had 22 in this one off the bench, five of seven from beyond the arc. What did you see from Grayson I, Allen? I actually, I like Grayson Allen. I did some radio hits early in the day, and I, I, I talked about how much I like Grayson Allen in this game, and, and some of the folks in Chicago didn't like that. Because remember, Allen's the guy, history of, I think it's fair to say, accusations of or a reputation for dirty play. Yes. Who injured Alex Going Caruso. back to his time at Duke. Absolutely. Going yeah. back to his time at Duke, and this season when he had a, an incident with Alex Caruso where Caruso got injured and missed a huge chunk, and that's when the Bulls really started to slide. So for Grayson Allen to go into that building against that team that, let's be frank, they do not like him on a personal level. There's obviously the added impetus of, we got to win this game for the Chicago Bulls to take control of the series. And for him to play like that is a reminder of the really impressive depth that John Horst has put on this team. Bobby Portis had a really big night, big addition. Grayson Allen had a really big night, really important role player who played like more than that in this on this evening. Drew Holiday's one of the big three. He was really good, but you see Grayson Allen do what he did. And that is often the recipe for championship teams to be great. It, it are guys who aren't going to step up every game or every series, but in some key moments they will. Go back to Sean Livingston back in the, the Warriors days when they were making those runs. Guys that can come off the bench or that are under the radar who can for an evening here or there be excellent. We know Allen is athletic. We know he can play defense. We know that defense gets physical slash dirty depending on your perspective. That he's put in those kind of buckets on a night where Chris Middleton's obviously not on the floor because of injury. That says so much about Milwaukee and the different ways they can be dangerous. They are so deep. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.